All right, so let's see how much basic math you remember. And what we want to do here is multiply all these fractions without using a calculator. So we have 5 over 16 times 12 over 21 times 8 over 15. So once again, no calculators, but uh, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to fully explain how to multiply all these fractions without a calculator. But uh, before we get started, if you are new to my channel, my name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And really, my passion is to try to make math uh, very easy to understand. So if you need additional help with mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so one more time, we have uh, 5 sixteenths times 12 over 21 times 8 fifteenths. What is the product of all these fractions without a calculator? Well, the correct answer here is 2 over 21. Now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like uh, Mr. U2 Math Man, I'm totally lost. How do you do this? Well, we need to discuss something called cross-canceling like factors. This is very important. But the good news, it's not that difficult. So let's see how to do this right now. So the first thing that we need to understand to solve this problem is how to multiply fractions. Let's take a look at these two fractions right here. And the top number in a fraction is called the numerator and the bottom number is called the denominator. So if we wanted to multiply these two fractions right here, all we have to do is multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So this is very easy. So the answer here would be five times 12 over 16 times 21. Now you have to do all this multiplication and of course we're not using a calculator, but this is the correct procedure to multiply two fractions or two or more fractions. So here we have three fractions. So to get the right answer, we have to multiply all the numerators and write that over the product of all the denominators. So if you're thinking in terms of, well, I have to take this five and multiply it by that 12, and then multiply by 8 or take the 16 and multiply by 21, get that answer, and multiply by 15. Well, that is a lot, to, a lot of multiplication without using our calculators. But uh, there is a far easier way to do this problem, and it involves understanding factoring. So let's uh, review what factors of a number are, and we'll take 12 as an example. Okay, so factors are numbers such that when we multiply them together, we get back to this number. So here, 12, we can think of, well, 4 times 3 gets us back to 12. Well, 4 and 3 are factors of 12. 6 times 2 gets us back to 12 as well. So 6 and 2 are also factors of 12. And 1 times 12 gets us back to 12. So 1 and 12 are also factors of 12. So what we want to do here is look at all these numerators and denominators in terms of their factors. And we want to find like factors between all the numerators and denominators. So let's just do a quick review on how to simplify a fraction. So for example, if I had 10 over 20 and I told you to simplify this, well, most of you would be like, well, that's just one half. And you would be correct. So 10 over 20 is equal to one half. But uh, technically what's going on is you're thinking of 10 as 1 times 10 and 20 in your brain. You're probably thinking of uh, this as 2 times 10. So what we have is like factors in the numerator and the denominator. We have a 10 up here and a 10 down here. So anytime you have like factors in a fraction, you can simply cross cancel them. And then what's left is the simplified version of that fraction. That, uh, that is exactly what we're going to do right here. So there's different ways to factor these numbers. So for example, you can uh, factor 16 as 8 times 2 or 4 times 4. So it really doesn't make too much of a difference how you factor these numbers. Uh, the main idea here is that you fully simplify uh, your answers. So let's go ahead and take a look at how I did this. So here is our three fractions, and I'm thinking of these three fractions in this way. So 5 over 16, 
I'm thinking of this as 5 over 4 times 4. And I'm going to write it this way as well. So 12 over 21, I'm going to think of this 12 as 4 times 3 and 21 as 7 times 3. Now again, these are all factors of these numbers. And then here, 8, I'm going to think of this as 4 times 2. And then 15, I'm going to think of this as 5 times 3. Now, I thought of these factors in this manner because I know I have a lot of common factors between the uh, numerator and the denominator. So now we can uh, cross cancel a lot of these factors to simplify our product. So I hope you're learning something from this video. And if that's the case, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification. This really does help me out on YouTube. Now, if you need additional help in math, make sure to check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. So let's go ahead and get back to the problem. So the final step here is going to be quite easy. And now that we have each of these individual fractions broken up in terms of its factors, we can look for opportunities to cross cancel these factors. And you don't even have to think about multiplying across here. All you have to do is look for one factor in the numerator and one factor in the denominator and identify like factors. So this is the way that I did it. And there's different ways you can do this problem in terms of the factors, but you'll get the same answer. So let's start with this four right here. Okay, so I have a four down here in the denominator. So if I can find another four up in the numerator someplace, well, I can cross cancel it. So this four, I see I have this four right here, so I can cross cancel this four with this four. So just draw one line through it. Okay, so you can kind of see I uh, color coded these. So this one four can uh, cross cancel with this one four right there. Okay, so now let's take a look at this four. So I'm looking for another four in the uh, numerator, right? So this four is down in the denominator, so I can cross cancel this four with this four over here. So now I have this five, so I'm looking for a five down in my uh, denominator someplace. So I see a five right here, so this five could cross cancel with this five. And you have to be very careful here because you uh, don't wanna scrub out these numbers and I'll show you why in just one second. All right, so we got rid of this four, this four, with this four and this four, and then this five with this five. So we have this three right here. We can cross cancel with this three. And then over here, we have a two left, a three left, and a seven. So I'm looking for any more opportunities between uh, uh, factors, the same factors in the numerator and the denominator, but I don't have any more opportunities to cross cancel. So I have a seven over here. I don't have a seven in the numerator. I have a two here, I don't have a two in the denominator, and then I have a three down in the denominator as well. All right, so really this problem simply becomes uh, these numbers right here, okay? So for example, this would be two over whatever's left, and that is gonna be seven times three. Of course, the final answer is two over seven times three, which is 21. So I hope this video helped you out, and if that's the case, don't forget to like, and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you wanna review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm gonna leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.